Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Harry Styles. Okay, we have somebody here that's emotionally overwhelmed or emotionally draining somebody here. Let's see, what else for Harry Styles, please? What's going on with Harry Styles? Okay. Hello, we got a couple coming out here. Somebody is seeing something clearly here. Coming out of some type of feeling alone. Maybe coming, well, maybe some more financial coming. Um, I feel like it's starting to increase. Let's see. What else for Harry Styles, please? What else for Harry? What's going on with Harry and his person? Hmm. Okay, and that I'm gonna take that way. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look here. Hmm, somebody's draining somebody here. Somebody's seeing something clearly or a clear option towards something. I kind of feel like with the Seven of Cups here in reverse, this is end of an illusion of some sort. And with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, this is kind of telling me this is a positive change. Something is turning around for somebody here. They're kind of sitting good now. They're on their, they may have walking away from somebody here. The five of wands in reverse, okay. I'm kind of feeling with this, this is a reconciliation. Somebody wanting a reconciliation. Confidence here. Page of Cups. That's kind of like um, that young at heart kind of energy, that innocence and happy, kind, and has that emotional insight. But this is a little concerning with the Ten. This is family feuds or unstable or no focus. Maybe. Um, foundation has to do with foundation as well um, somebody might not be taking an offer here with the knight of cups in reverse so this is kind of saying that somebody's a disappointed maybe emotionally unavailable maybe jealous even maybe half truths half lie maybe being unreliable or something emotional control here. Let's see what we have with the after tarot. What is this Queen of Cups in reverse? Who's emotionally draining here? Somebody's seeing something clearly here. Somebody may have invested in somebody here that's just emotionally draining them. Could be draining their finances. What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, there's a King of Wands here in the reverse. Maybe broke some promises, had a little swagger swagger, <laughs> kind of moves like Jagger. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm getting with that. Um, yeah, kind of that playboy type of energy of maybe, hmm, could be some obstacles here. <laughs> Pleasure is here. What is the positive chain? It changes here. Okay, somebody's being in the flow and patient here in these positive 
changes knowing maybe that they were coming. What's the page of wands in reverse here? This is kind of this is kind of telling me that this is emotional trauma. Is that what I'm kind of feeling here? It's emotional trauma. This is kind of dark, actually. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. Um, hmm. Very pessimistic and unreliable. Distracted. Distracted from something here. Being patient about something that these positive changes are coming, but was very pessimistic about something here. Maybe that not having a lot of faith in something. What is this Nine of Cups here? This is being good. This is like being, um, how would you say that? That would be like, um, <laughs> kind of having that contentment, I guess is the word I'm looking for, that sense of well-being. This person may have chose here and now wants to maybe jump out that cup. Maybe thought this person was a blessing and decided that, no, they were better on their own here. Because that nine of cups is kind of being on your own, that kind of satisfaction of being sense of well-being on your own success you know achieving something all on your own and satisfied with where they're at and this person chose a cup and now they're dumping it out so and I see they're walking away so this could be Harry here or this could be his person yeah, something isn't healed here with the Hermit in reverse. I'm kind of feeling this is kind of, well, this is about a purpose possibly or a rejection, feeling alone, loneliness, isolated. This is all about patience again here, really picking up on the patience with the temperance and now with the Hermit in reverse. Somebody who's feeling rejected and walks away or is sent away here has to do with the rowing of the boat here. Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is a reconciliation somebody wants here. What is it? Oh, about getting together, reconciling, and having a celebration to do with this. So what is the Prince of Cups, which is the Page of Cups? Okay, so maybe healing this, coming forward to heal this energy here. Feeling like there's no competition <coughs> when it comes to them. There's love here, um, getting together with the Lover's card. That's definitely Gemini energy. That's all about communicating. This could have been <clears throat> this could have been attraction and harmony and a divine union here. Where that's how they're feeling. And this is about coming together, having that fun type of person that's spontaneous and happy and kind and that innocence to them. They want to move forward and heal things here. What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Okay. King of Swords. Okay, this is somebody that's a bit of a control freak or a dictator type of energy. Maybe a lot of manipulation when it comes to somebody's money. This is all about causing issues here with the family. Somebody might be trying to say how things are going to go with being trying to control the narrative here. 
when it comes to family. This is family feuds. This is trying to control something, something that's unstable here. What's this Knight of Cups here in reverse? So this is somebody that's kind of motivated, but when they're in reverse, they're kind of lacking everything. It's all superficial or lack of discipline or impatience here. What is somebody impatient about? Okay, whoa. All right, so maybe they fumbled the cup when they first did it. Maybe they were declined an offer here and now this person's coming back. Maybe they have less to offer. This is emotional insight. This is somebody using their intuition and maybe is getting better sleep now, learned how to ward off any bad energy or nightmares. What happens after this? What happens after this? Hmm, somebody sees something differently here. Somebody may help this person while they're stuck, they may help them find a solution or a different perspective. Hmm, okay. So somebody's perspective is changing about somebody here. So let's look at what uh, Harry's energy is. What is Harry's energy? What are we looking at with Harry's energy? Wow, engagement. So he may be really liking somebody here that he wants to reconcile with. There might be a problem with family here about having to do with money. Yeah, somebody he likes to flirt with. There's flirt, there's lighthearted energy here. Mm. And there's a breakup, a separation when it comes to this. They may have decided to get engaged or wanted to get engaged. Maybe things were going really well and then uh, something happened here where there was a separation here. Yeah, this person maybe didn't want to tell too many people about this just to kind of have Harry by himself and kind of retreat from everybody, disconnect from the rest of the world. Yeah, there's definitely playfulness here and flirting. What else for this person, Harry's person? What about Harry's person here? Yeah, free yourself. So somebody did free themselves from this person. They took back control of their life and separated from, well, maybe he was swagga swagga, had too many options or was seeing something clearly. Was being emotionally drained by this person, right? saw something clearly when it came to this person's energy and maybe stepped out on them. There was a positive change and some patience here. Yet with the page of wands here in reverse, this is kind of telling me that there was some type of emotional trauma or some painful emotion happened here. This is somebody that maybe was impatient or unre unreliable, pessimistic of some sort, even though there was positive change happening and trying to be patient about it. But pick that cup, right? Poured it out. Maybe doing things solo or just being satisfied on their own. With the hermit in reverse, this is kind of like that rejection. So having to walk away from this person, maybe the person walked away from him, wanting that reconciliation, uh, wanting to be with that person. There's a lot of celebration here, wanting to come forward to heal this, 
maybe even communicating that much with the Page of Cups. That happy news of wanting, um, wanting to control his own finances, possibly. I kind of feel like with the, is it the Knight? Yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. I kind of feel like wasn't really emotionally, uh, like kind of emotionally unavailable or disappointed, maybe even jealous here. Maybe somebody else came in with the cup here. I was having nightmares about it. Somebody was using their intuition and saw something differently here. So, hmm, this is a combined energy here. Your love life is being affected by children, so there may be siblings here. This could be immaturity here. Let's see what else we get. What is this perspective that they're seeing here? What's this energy between these two? Mm, there's chemistry. Hmm. Well, let's see what the intentions are here. What's the intention with Harry towards his person? What's his intention? Yeah, an ending. So this person may have stepped out on him. What's his intention? He may have intended to end this. Oh, there might be some type of addiction or codependency. Maybe that controlling uh, energy here. Yeah, wanting to be with friends, moving on and being happily single, walking away from this person voluntarily, not healing whatever this was. Yeah, and then wanting to reconcile after a little while here. So maybe his person did or maybe he was texting them. So what is the person, what's his person's in, um, intention here? What's his person's intention towards Harry? What's the intention towards Harry from his person? Huh. Okay, so this person is doing their self-love here. So they know their worth here. Yeah, and they're not having it. They're not taking him back. And they're quite tragically heartbroken here. And this may be someone else that's bringing a cup in here. Let's see, what is their intention with their combined energy? Hmm, maybe to date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan to set a date. So they break up here. So let's see what lessons we get here. Now, this could be past, present, or near future. This could have happened already, or could be happening right now, or is set to happen in the near future. What's the lessons that they may need to learn or have learned for Harry? What are the lessons he's learned or needs to learn? All right, we got a few lessons here. Let's go over them real quick. All right, love who you are. So maybe a little bit of self-love that he needs to have here. Love who you are once again. So a lot of self-love here needed to happen love endures so knowing that love um, needing to have faith that love is hopeful and withstands every situation so there needs to be a change in how he loves treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply so maybe not having any real love when it comes to um, relationships more just having fun or living in the moment let's see what this person learned here I'm feeling self-worth a lot of self-worth is being had here yeah there's a few here that we'll take 
So the, his person, let's see, focus on love, look for good in everyone. So perhaps having uh, that sad outlook here, speak the language of love. So maybe finding out what his love language is. Yeah, even your own. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So having better dialect with the self, and I felt like that self-love kind of really came in there. So maybe the lesson here was the dialect that you tell yourself that, oh, you're worthless, or you're this or that, or you're ugly, or whatever it is that you dialect that you talk nasty to yourself changed for this person. They're looking at themselves differently. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So maybe over committed where they were clearly, maybe Harry was under committed. Treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. Same message here for his person. So I'm getting like a major difference in someone's all in and someone is not. So this is the page of wands. Yeah, a page of wands here in reverse. So this is kind of being pessimistic, distracted unreliable, maybe even lazy. So, okay, so things were being unreliable to someone here more than the other. What's the combined energy here? For Harry, love endures. Love does not give up. Have faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. And I think we saw that one already as well. So it's reiterating what he had for his lessons. There's possibly he is meant to go back and learn a lesson again here, I'm feeling. So, and loving each other deeply is one other lesson that's come up for both of them here. So I kind of feel like Maybe they're both going back to learn more lessons. Maybe they're both coming back together to learn lessons and gain a different perspective. So let us look at what actions are going to happen here. What are the actions Harry is going to take towards his person? What actions after this is he going to do? We have the well, we have cancer energy. There's a deeper meaning, hidden emotions, true feelings, maybe looking deeper, getting in touch with his consciousness. So I feel like he's kind of holding back on his feelings here. With number eight, that's kind of like mastering something, taking action to resolve something here, possibly. Let's see. What else? What actions? Okay, so hmm. there may be some fear here. There's stress, anxiety, fatigue, worry, illness, restlessness. There's theft, costly, somebody nagging, which we kind of had here. So something here, he doesn't, he wants that to change. And the Seven of Clubs, that's um, Seven of Wands. That's something persevering against all odds. It's like having a position of advantage and kind of, despite the struggle, still has success. Whoa. And wants to do the ring thing. <laughs> still wants to put a ring on it and a promise bond here or an agreement a pact or a contract partnership and having trust hmm 
All right. Wow, it still wants to put a ring on it. What about this person? What is this person? Beginnings. Brand new beginnings. Spontaneous. Maybe a new perspective here. So this may be this person's perspective, looking for stability. And the Jack of Spades is the Jack of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. And that's somebody that maybe wants to communicate or is curious about a message or wanting to message somebody. This is getting useful information. Let's see, what else? Maybe finding out something here. Okay, all right. Stalemate, hmm. No way out, non-committal, delay tactics, refusing to compromise, opponent or competition, holding out, hmm, a standoff. And this is kind of, well, that's number six. That's kind of trying to cooperate and harmony here, but this is somebody that's kind of, not today, I, I'm still angry at you. So holding out for this love call maybe here, or this offer. Let's see here, one more for his person, for Harry Styles' person. Wow, emeralds, healing this, okay. There may be some humility here and reflecting on things here. Whatever this is, it's rare. There's peace and soul rest, um, restoration and growth. So I feel like these two grow together through these separations and coming back together there's growth and this is a strong relationship. There's balance and free flowing love, a mature love and heart chakras are open. This is Taurus energy. And the number one is about new beginnings. So new opportunities and new potential. So they may end up getting back together after all. What's the combined energy? Hmm. It has to do with the men. This is masculine energy. This is about the love interest. Maybe the man is the love interest, which could be Harry. This is number 10 energy. Maybe this is ended with the Ace of Hearts, which is the Ace of Cups here, which is new relationship, emotional awakening, love and intimacy, a gift or a blessing. So this looks like things may overall change for these two. Let's have a look at what the outcome is. What's the outcome for Harry? Can I get three cards for Harry? Three cards for Harry. What's the outcome here? Still wanting to put a ring on it. One more. Oh, thank you. And let's get three for his person. There's that family feud again, family issues here, that family room. Hmm, having to do with a house and occupation. Okay, so and what about Harry? Okay, thief, poverty, and a child. Okay. I don't like this at all for Harry because it almost looks like somebody might try to lure him in by saying they're with child just to strip him and leave him in poverty here with the thief strip him of his finances and leave him in poverty it could have been that when he was a child that somebody stole from his family that left them in poverty. But I'm kind of feeling like this is a warning for him. This looks like 
This may be somebody's way of getting a house, trying to convince a family, or trying to get a house, wanting to be in the family, wants him for his occupation. Could be a family house. Not wanting to work. Hmm. Let's get some tarot cards on this before we go any further. What is the how? Oh, yeah. See, she's. <sighs> before I even got the words out. Yeah, there's shady ass behavior in this with the Seven of Swords landing on that house. So. <laughs> Something's going down here. What's going on? Oh, somebody's going to get some justice here. Ah, there's heartbreak here for some heartbreak, maybe. Somebody might want revenge here. Might act in a shady ass behavior. Could be. Somebody's getting karma here. It's broken heart here. Wanting to get justice. Yeah, being cold and aloof. Kind of being that, I don't know, kind of. It's not in the reverse, though. What about Harry? What is this poverty thief and child here? Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is about over committing towards something here. Oh, Ten of Cups in reverse. Wow. This is about conflict. Um, like, <sighs> I'm kind of getting that domestic conflicts and marital conflicts and unhappiness, huge unhappiness here, family issues, wanting to manifest something different for himself here. He could have manifested this person, needing to manifest what he truly wants and desires. Oh yeah, look at that. He's wanting to maybe to passionately go towards this person because maybe he's realizing something here but there's a breakdown a huge tower coming in ripping this all together undone here kind of feeling like maybe spirits kind of giving messages here with this with the manifester the magician Because this is mastering all the elements and manifesting what you want. It's how you think. It's mercury energy. That different perspective here. This could be having nightmares and learning to slay the nightmare. But I don't know. I, I feel like there's a warning here for sure about this person. Everything comes tumbling down. Hopefully, before they get married. What's his intuition? Oh, there's a blessing coming, but after everything falls apart. What's the intuition telling him? What's his intuition telling him? Not to give that offer. And what about his person? What's their intuition saying? Oops. It's not going to work. There's an ending. And what about the overall outcome here? Somebody's going to be held in high honor here. And I feel like this could be Harry. 
he's gonna find out and end things before they get any of his money. This might be someone else that is with somebody here. This may be manifesting someone new to come in for him. And this blessing, if he walks away from this person, he'll have his true heart's desire, a blessing, a new relationship with somebody new. There's a big ending here. Let's see here. Let's see, what is their intuition saying about this no offer here? Ah, there is a message coming through, and this might be spirit getting this message. He could have gotten messaged by someone else, maybe somebody in high honor that he feels helped save the day about this person. Maybe he got information about this person and found out what was going on. Maybe they are a con artist or something like that. Yeah, they're not going to be planning anything together. It's in reverse. So, jeez, yeah, no greener pastures here, it's stay or go, and it's a go. So, this is what I have for Harry, he may be learning some major lessons here, but if he does what he's meant to do here, and walks away in time, he'll have his blessing, if he ends it with this person. I feel like somebody's going to help him. Maybe it's this person, or maybe this person is helping end this so this doesn't happen, which could be a person that's helping him, this high honored person, or this person could be helping the, the person that he's with or has separated from that he wants to get back together with. This too could be trying to rob him of his money with the thief, poverty, and child by saying that they're pregnant to try to get child support. Could be this person's child. So we'll have to see what happens here with Harry. But this is a new reading. Um, this was a request by a um, subscriber and yeah we'll, we'll have to see what happens in the next little while for Harry this is a July reading so this is yet to come so we will see maybe where he's at here when it comes time we'll do another reading and see where that leads us <laughs> all right you guys please like share and subscribe and we will see you all next time all right take care Stay blessed. Later.